and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Renekton Zed. I wanted to play an aggressive Ionia deck, something that we haven't really played very much of, but really what I wanted to do is play more Green Glade Elder. I really like this card since it's been buffed. It's a three mana three one now. I really like that that three one. And then of course, grant all allies in hand plus one plus one. That's pretty cool. Just haven't really played Green Glade Elder decks ever since this got buffed. Um, a couple of patches ago. And so I wanted to fix that. So I was thinking, okay, if I'm going to play Green Glade Elder and get the plus one, plus one, what would really benefit from a plus one, plus one? And then I was like, ooh, probably big overwhelm. And of course, I want to play new cards too. So I was like, all right, let's 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 pair that with Renekton, where, you know, like we can have Renekton. We can have Renekton be a 5-5 five, five, um, for four mana instead of a 4-4. Four, four. And I was like, ooh, that sounds pretty cool. So put those together, also put it with Ruin Runner, also another big overwhelm that if, you know, Ruin Runner's a 7-5, <laughs> even better. So yeah, we're going to kind of have those all together. Um, by going with Ionia, we're also going to have like Inspiring Mentor to be able to, you know, give something in hand to plus one, plus zero. That card works great with Zed, with giving Zed uh, plus one, plus zero. Obviously, Zed works great with the Green Glade Elder also. Ionia also has Sonic Wave. Sonic Wave is a pretty cool one for giving Challenger, so Renekton can challenge. So we'll have Sonic Wave and Ruthless Predator and Exhaust, all of those. We also, of course, if we're being aggressive, we're going to have Dune Keeper, and Dune Keeper is very good with Sparring Student. Um, so yeah, this should be just a pretty cool little deck here. We're going to have like our Green Glade duo do some stuff. I don't know, this, this looks like uh, some really fun things. And then we, we're, I'm going to have uh, two Jewel Protectors in here, because talk about like buffing up your units. Jewel Protector with a plus three, plus three could work great with Renekton or Ruin Runner giving those plus three, plus three. Or of course, just Zed or Green Glade duo, you know, buffing those things up too. All right, well, anyway, let's get to it. Looks like this should be a lot of fun. Wanted, wanted to play some Ionia. It's been a while since we played, like, aggressive Ionia and Zed. Yeah. Okay. So, Aphelio Zoe. Those two cards are pretty good. Let's keep our hand. We have the Exhaust pair with the Renekton. We got turn one Dune Keeper, turn two a Green Glade Duo. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Oh my guard said I just wanted to drop by, say hi, and wish you the best. Glad the stream's go the stream is growing. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Thank you very much. Okay. Trade one drops. They get a dust pedal dust to show for it. We get two damage. Yeah, I mean I just have to block. I don't I don't love the blocks. I have exhaust and sonic wave, but I don't think giving them a free best case scenario would have been them just not attacking. But I don't think giving them the free. Ooh. The free super cool star chart was the answer. <laughs> Just like this Goomba. Same kind of thing. Let's move. All right, so they're at 12. Ooh. And I don't even have time to play all these cool things. Because I want to open attack. You know, like challenge open attack. Oh, they have two mana? I thought they had one mana. Mm. That's still... Busted. Ugh. Man, I want to play Ruin Runner, but we just can't because we got to play these spells. All right, so let's see. We'll do... I guess Exhaust. Yeah. I don't really feel like trading Dune Keeper for Solari Priestess. Our path by the stars. 
All right, so we know they still have an invoke card from the priestess and an invoke card from the scryer in hand. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ruin Runner about to be a big boy. Oh, exhaust? Gross. That kills her neck 10. Gross. Well, we're going double hush. How do we keep getting double hushed? All right, Targon's still the best region. GG's opponent. Yeah, Sonic Wave is similar to Ruthless Predator for sure. Yeah, I'm not playing Deny. That was just, you know, conscious decision not to play Deny or the Shurima Deny. Um, I know that, like, this kind of matchup and, you know, that last one, the six mana obliterates those kind of matchups, having those six mana, or having those Denies is really useful. But there's a lot of other decks, like, where the Denies don't really do very much against, you know, like your, like, a lot of different aggro decks. This card's obviously gone. This one, I guess, just costs too much, but this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good for me. Yeah, opponent, you got a great matchup here. Because you got you have to pick your battles, right? Like you, you, you do have to pick your battles, and this is just is is one that. Um, I'm not playing the best cards for this matchup. doing with you, Jewel Protector? Out here, you're moving, or you're dead. 
We can still hit pretty hard. The trolls are going to war. The thing about Xenotype Researchers is we don't really have any guaranteed... We don't really have any, um, like, or not guaranteed, but we, we just don't really have card draw, right? Like, that's not what our deck's focused on. Our deck's focused on, like, curving and, and being efficient and everything. We're not, so, like, we don't really have it, too many ways to, like, make sure that we draw those cards that Xenotype Researchers would maybe hit. They do look pretty scared of a fair fight. The All Shirima deck we played yesterday I really liked, and that had two Xenotype Researchers in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will bury the world in ice. Do not fear the shrouded path. Ancient things trapped in the ice. You gotta believe me. This morning. That was a great, great turn for them. Killed my 9-3, put an 0-6 and a 3-4 into play, also drew multiple cards, and also uh, created another card here. And also now their Nexus is tough. What's today's lesson? I don't think that we win this game unless we kill them this turn. I think this Watcher kills me next turn. Yep. Pretty glad they didn't play this Ice Shards when my Sparring Student was a 1-1. One, one. But it does take out that Spell Shield. Feel the power of true ice. Saw that a mile away. No mercy, face your end. They follow the wrong master. Too bad. Our work is not yet done. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, if we had right negation, yeah, it'd be great for this this matchup, absolutely. But like I said before, you have to pick your battles, and so we're gonna be bad against this matchup, and so that's all we're gonna face now is this matchup. We just can't get any, any luck. Like this is literally the only matchup I don't want to face. I really don't. Because, yeah, yes, we could play... T yeah, obviously, if I had Denies and Ride of Negation, I would be much more happy with this matchup, but I, I don't. And so, you can say, oh, man, you built your deck wrong because you're not playing Denies and Ride of Negation. It's like, yes, like... But then it, then we like we play the Denies and Ride of Negation, and then we just face, like, a Zier Aggro and other Rennington decks, and, and, like, they just sit there and do absolutely nothing, right? So it's, you know, like, once we start playing those, we're not going to play this matchup anymore. Of 
Question is, how bad is J4? I guess Jarvin the fourth. And I don't, I don't really understand how to answer that. It's a. Like how bad is Jarvin the fourth? I knew I should have just passed. I really thought about passing. I should have just passed. I mean, what? He's like, I don't know. He's like a four out of ten. As far as champions, I guess that's how bad he is. I don't know. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. Oh, it's Nasus? I always say Nasus. Nasus? Nasus sounds cooler. Yeah, Jarvan's champion spell is very good. And when Jarvan's leveled up, he's really good. Jarvan should just be a 5-5. There's not really any reason why Jarvan should be smaller than Lux. Like, lore-wise and stuff. Like, how is, like... Yeah, like, that, it doesn't really make much sense. I still have some fire. Oh, gotta love all these sonic waves and exhausts that really don't matter in this matchup. And unfortunately, that's all we're drawing. You gotta be kidding me. How many of these little spells do we have? Nine. So we have we have nine total spells in this matchup that, that really just don't matter. And you know, like, so there's nine of them. We're gonna, like, that's almost a fourth of the deck. We're gonna draw a couple. But drawing four of them? By turn six? Now, I'm not going to be good against Ruination either way. Gets through the spell shield. I'm really sad right now. Really wish I was just playing three denies and three ride negations. And then just like a bunch of like preservance or preserviums. I don't know, whatever that landmark is that draws multiple cards. Wish we were playing good cards for this matchup. We're playing against a different deck. I'm happy about that. I guess 11 is too many spells. There we go. It's our best opening hand so far of any of the four. Just the opening hand that has the most. One, two, three. The most units, at least. Hmm. 
All right, so let's see what Sparring Student and Greenglade Elder can do. Landmarks are a little slow. So they'll block the rock hopper most likely. The desert by my side. Could block the 4-4, four four, but it's only one less damage to block the rock hopper. Good 13 damage on turn three. Even with the blocker. So that's what we're supposed to be doing is having, you know, like a, a real fast curve out aggro deck. We've been drawing way too many spells and, you know, like especially that other matchup that all those spells just didn't matter. But of course, just a deck with lots of sweepers. What do you make of that? Violence, chaos, and destruction. All right, we're just going to finish our curve out. No surrender. All right, what do they got? They're currently at six. It's a lot of damage coming in. Not bad, but not good enough. Barely. <laughs> exactly, though. All right. All right, Twisted Fate of Aphelios. We're going to want, like, Green Glade Elder. We don't want, like, all of our stuff to die to red card. All right, good hand to Mulligan. Send it back. There's one Green Glade Elder. All right, more units, please. Units. Not two Zeds. Night flowers upon my blade. It's our time. Come on, keep drawing units. No. I guess eleven may be too many spells. Okay, that's a unit. What would you wish to learn? Yeah, like we're only buffing up half of our hand. What do you call that technique? Okay, not red card. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? I'm going to exhaust the Dustbringer and kill the Dustbringer with the Zed. Um, if I do that... I guess I just save the Ruthless Predator. I'm going to save one of these. I guess I just save Ruthless Predator. But I wish I could have gave the, this thing the minus one, minus zero. You know, I wish I could have gave that minus one, minus zero, and then this... But, like, the plus two doesn't help the Green Glade Elder get through there. I guess I could have just challenged it with a Sparring Student, though, and threatened Zed hitting them for two. Maybe that... and leveling up Zed. Level up Zed's not really that much different from regular Zed, though, but, I mean, it gets to get the plus one, plus one. Okay, so they still have the Celestial card from the Spacey Sketcher. I don't think they're passing, but maybe they are. Yeah, I, didn't, I was going to say, I don't think they are. Violence, chaos, and destruction. Please control. Holy hands strike hard. Oh, 
chase them down. I guess I could have just done the 1-1 one, one and said the, yeah, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to lose by, they're going to stay alive at 1, because I didn't challenge the 1-1 one, one and I challenged the 2 health. Okay, well. This is a not, not in my favorite spot. So we'll put Renekton back to in, in our hand and be able to buff up the Renekton with the Green Glade Elder. They should be afraid. Don't look twice. No greater gift than knowledge. Okay, hopefully we get a spell to go along with this Renekton. Yeah. Green Glade Duo. I'm a little scared of Twist of Fate red card with going Green Glade Duo. And obviously they have a blocker anyway. Nope, the luck of the cards have not been on our side today. And like, if, the, if these three ones are going to die, like, I'd rather have the three ones die during combat than the three three. If they're going to get blocked. I was really, really looking forward to these these decks too, like the Sivir Taric, this Renekton Zed. I was really looking forward to playing these decks today. And so I'm really sad that we're losing with them because I was like these are definitely my kind of decks. I'm really pumped up to play Green Glade Elder. Our opponents just keep on having, you know, what they need. And we're just coming up a little short each game. Stop having the star shapings. This would put them at exact lethal right now. And then the hush. Oh. Oh. Well, we do have leveled up Zed. But... Cool. Felios got burned. Run the pick a card. Feel me in. I'm a people person. Oh. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Lady Luck is smiling. All right, time to attack. If 
play two star shapings already. Ah, just can't get that spell. Obviously, I need to just attack before playing anything else, I'm pretty sure. I think we just do this. Okay, so like, let's say I play Ruin Runner. What's what's like the worst case scenario of me playing Ruin Runner? It's like they can't they can't play Twisted Fate Gold Card. They can't you know they can't go like Red Card or anything. Sand and trouble, far as the eye can see. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that's true. They do have a couple of yeah, that's that's true. They do have like two of the the star shaping cards. They have the five mana obliterate your your board or the eight mana obliterate. These three. I have many faces. Easy. So they, they did play something to block the Ruin Runner, but it did take a lot of their mana, didn't it? How do they have so much mana? Oh, Veil Temple. I was like, how do they spend nine mana and have all this mana? But yeah. All right, we got to win. Look at that. Good job, Zed. Improving. Improving. <laughs> We're up to two and three. Who knows? In no time, we may get a winning record. So there we go. We got it. Got a two and three. We're improving here with our Rennington Zed list. Um, didn't actually draw Inspiring Mentor ever. So we never, never got to really do anything cool with Inspiring Mentor. Um, Green Glade Elder, we had a couple of times. The, we had twice. The, the two times we had Green Glade Elder, the two different games we had it. We didn't have very many allies in hand. Um, so yeah, maybe 11 was a little bit too many spells, but you know you do want like those spells to finish up. With this kind of deck, you basically, when you have spells in your opener, probably just send them back because you're going to draw more spells. Um, but you know maybe 11 was one or two too many. Obviously, we could be doing a lot better against like the Lissandra um, kind of deck if you want to, you know, if you want to play deny and right of negation like those are like we have options to try to stop uh those kind of like um avalanche withering whale um vengeance ruination all those kind of cards um but uh i was going for i was going for more of like the aggro matches right like spirits refuge basically like good in aggro but like if if you you know like these spirits refuge like these these could have been denies like this could have like you can help out your lissandra trying to match up a lot more by playing right of negation slash deny instead of the spirits refuge um and then also you know like you can you can trim one of these uh challenge cards you can play probably just like six challenge cards instead of seven so that that could be another spot where you could trim a little bit rush also just you know good in in uh combat and everything but the rush could also be replaced like you know you could play more protection than what i'm playing basically is what i'm saying so you know rush rush could be things that like protect your health you know uh, like that's yeah so you can you can kind of retune some of these spells if you want i was going for very fast that's what i was kind of going with even something like retreat would be pretty good in those matchups like whenever they play their sweepers you just put it back in your hand and even putting something like green glade elder back in your hand also always a good idea so maybe like you know so if you're going to be playing against those kind of matches more you can take out the refuge and the plus one plus zero and then play retreat and either deny or ride a negation, whichever one you want. And I guess, I guess deny is maybe a little better. You don't have to like destroy a mana gem or anything, but this does get all of them. If you want to just go the coward's way out and just split them one and one, you can do that. So that's not probably, you know, like if, if we're going to be expecting like that kind of matchup a lot more and we want to play some more protection, maybe just do something like that. Maybe play a couple of retreats and a deny and a ride a negation. Um, yeah, and then, because we, we didn't really need those others, and then you still have all the challenger type stuff, um, so that could be pretty good at two. All right, so there we go, that's Renekton Zed. Um, super excited to play it, didn't have the best luck, but you know, we haven't had the best luck today, and that's okay. Some days, some days you don't have it, um, but I, I like a lot of the stuff that we have going on here. I, I just think that Zed, Greenclade Elder, Inspiring Mentor, those kind of cards are pretty underrated right now. Um, like I said, we never drew Inspiring Mentors. So that's that's unfortunate. But I do think that those kind of cards are pretty um, underrated. Um, Retreat does reset Doomkeepers. So that's pretty nice. Um, another thing that Retreat does is if you do play like 
you know, like Inspiring Mentor or Dune Keeper early, you can put it back into your hand before Green Glade Elder and then rebuff them up and then get them back into play. That's something you can do. But yeah, so maybe maybe that small change there and that'll, that'll help you out there. And then, you know, we'll see if you know, we're just not playing against the aggro decks <laughs> where I really wanted the other cards. All right, but uh, that's it here for Renekton Zed. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know that drill. Hit that like button. And of course, as always, uh, leave those comments as well. Um, I really appreciate that. Hopefully y'all are enjoying these decks, even though I'm not winning all the, you know, a lot. I know like some of y'all want to see me win all the time and I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, I'm trying, uh, but it's not always, it's not always all wins, you know, whenever you take these brews over to ranked. All right, but that's all I got here for Renekton Zed. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.